Do you aim like a potato and want to actually improve? Well, that's good news because wanting to be better is the first step in the right direction. Hey, this is Cero, and before you ask, yes, I'm a Radiant who was originally placed in Silver 2. So I think I have a good idea on how to improve your aim. And this isn't going to be that generic pro guides video where I'll be telling you guys about crosshair placement. No, no, no. In this video, I'll be giving you guys genuine advice to hit more shots that I use for my grind into Radiant. The routine that I will show you guys is easy to remember, fun to do, easy to complete, and most importantly, shows amazing results. So stay tuned as I'll be going over that later in the video. First, I'll be going over crucial settings that impact the way you aim train. The first major setting that you should focus on is mouse acceleration. Many people don't even realize that they have this enabled. Just look up mouse settings on Windows, go over to additional mouse options, and from there go to pointer options. Here you can see enhanced pointer precision. I highly suggest turning this off if you want consistent aim. This option is basically a mouse acceleration, meaning that your mouse movements speed up exponentially. If you want to build muscle memory, it is important to turn off the setting. You may notice that your mouse feels faster, so lowering your DPI can be a good idea. Before you start to aim train, you want to make sure you're on a comfortable sensitivity. Many people underestimate the importance of finding the perfect sense. What I recommend is turning on the limited 50 in the range. Try tracking the bots from close and far ranges. Increase or decrease your sensitivity in small intervals accordingly. If you can't track the targets perfectly, that's okay because we haven't started the aim training yet. Just make sure it's comfortable and you can stick with it. Aim is a very general word and can be broken into two main categories, passive and mechanical aim. Mechanical aim is one most people think of when they hear the word aim. Basically, it is how well you can move your crosshair from one point to another. This skill can be refined with muscle memory and a lot of aim training. It is essentially your raw aim and mouse control that carries from game to game. If you get good scores in Kovacs and aim labs, that's probably means you have really good mechanical aim. Passive aim is rather different. It is developed through game sense and differs from game to game. In Valorant, passive aim is generally referred to as crosshair placement. The point of passive aim is to assist mechanical aim to make it easier to land shots. It is the act of placing your crosshair where you expect enemies to be in order to decrease the movements of your mouse. In the best case scenario, you won't even need mechanical aim at all and just let your passive aim do all the work. However, minor mechanical adjustments will be necessary as no one can perfectly predict enemy movements and positioning. Many pros have passive aim down to the needle, allowing them to be extremely consistent as they don't need to rely on flicks and mechanical skill to save them. In this aim guide, I will show a routine to train both passive and mechanical aim. However, don't forget that these two work together, so generally you will be working on both skills with an emphasis on a specific one. So now, this is the part of the video that most of you guys have been waiting for. My radiant aim routine to get perfect aim. Practice may not make you perfect, but the perfect practice will. You need to be practicing the best aim routine in order to get the most improvement possible. That is why I came up with this routine I'm about to show you guys. Although there isn't a specific order, I made the name just for this video so it's easier to remember. I call it the PREMS method. Practice bots, recoil control, easy bots, medium bots, strafe slash movement practice. First, let's begin with the practice bots. This may seem very easy and simple to do. However, there's a lot of things that go into this if you want to get the most out of your aim training. First, you want to make sure your crosshair doesn't move vertically at all. Focus on keeping your crosshair on head level. Ideally, you should only move your mouse left and right. These practice bots should build micro flicks as shooting these is the same as getting into 100 small gunfights a minute. You should carefully focus on going slow and not over slash under flicking. Muscle memory is a crucial part in being consistent. Since muscle memory has no difference in good or bad habits, it is important to be practicing the correct way. At first, I suggest you go slowly and aim directly in the middle of the head. If you're over flicking, then go slower. It should be a smooth movement. I highly recommend listening to music while completing this routine as it will make it more fun and enjoyable. I usually count my routine in terms of songs. Most songs are 2-3 to three minutes in length, so 2 songs usually equates to about 5 minutes. I recommend doing these practice bots for roughly 2 songs or until you feel bored or worn out. Moving on to recoil control. This is the same as spray control and can be practiced literally anywhere on a wall or just in the practice range. I suggest turning off infinite ammo and going over to the recoil bot on the side. I usually do about 30 meters, but it doesn't matter too much. I keep doing full sprays on the target until I run out of ammo. Then I switch to the vandal and repeat the process. This ensures you don't whiff a 30 bullet spray on a guy standing still and should only take about two minutes to do. However, generally you shouldn't be spraying with rifles too much in the first place. So this is kind of like a backup plan in case you don't insta headshot them. Moving on to easy bots. Many of you guys are probably saying that hard bots are harder, meaning you will improve more, right? Well, that's where you're wrong because doing the hard bots will make you develop bad habits because the bots are going too fast. This is especially true if you're new to FPS games and Valorant. So unless you're consistently getting 29 or 30 on hard bots, I suggest that you listen to what I have to say. Doing the easy bots is, well, easy, but the point of doing them is to build good muscle memory with the right fundamentals. 
Professional basketball players do simple shots to practice and perfect their form. They don't only do the hardest shots thinking that they will improve. So the goal here is to land every shot without over or under flicking. It gives you a lot of time, so don't rush your shot and make sure you get that smooth one tap. The best guns to use are sheriffs and guardians. This is because they are very accurate and because you can't spray with them. Like I said, the goal is to go for steady one taps so that there is no point in spraying. With medium bots, you want to do the same thing while keeping the same fundamentals in mind. You should try to do it from close, medium, and far ranges to give you the best possible practice. Here you will begin to notice that your aim feels better and more crisp. Where before you were making multiple mass movements and adjustments, and now you should see that your aim is one fluid motion with minimal adjustments. I like to incorporate my movement into my routine as well. This is where the straights part comes into play. I suggest going eliminate 50 and taking a rifle. Go on the side of the range instead of the middle. This is because in the middle you will have to move your mouse a lot farther off your screen. For more realistic practice, I go on the side where the bot spawned in my POV. From here, I strafe with the A and D keys while tracking the bot. After a second, I come to a complete stop before firing my bullet. This should improve your tracking, movement, and discipline that you do not move and shoot. Your first bullet is the most accurate, so it is not a good idea to waste it due to moving while shooting. Once you complete this, your mechanical aim should be all ready and warmed up. This aim routine isn't too concrete, so feel free to change around some things and do exercises that you dread the most. To completely solidify your aim, I suggest going into a deathmatch or two and practice crosshair placement. This will help you greatly within your passive aim. Try to remove your mouse as little as you need in order to land a headshot. With your movement, you should also practice jiggle peeking angles and not exposing your entire body. A big part of getting easy kills is good movement. I'll make a movement guide soon in the future, so look forward to that. Don't forget, the time and effort will pay off guys, so don't ever stop grinding. With that being said, this guy took me a really long time to make, so I would appreciate it if you guys subscribed. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.